excommunicate. Let me answer. I swear you excommunicate from the rabbis. I am a rabbinical honesty. Can I speak? This is pointless. Go on, go on. Rabbi Shmuley, is there a limit to the number of civilians in Gaza that Israel can kill to try and That's eliminate Hamas? That's a good question. Hamas? That's a great question. Yes, there is. What's Thank you. But let me ask it. Not even one, not one beautiful Palestinian child should have to die because Hamas kicked out Mahmoud That wasn't Abbas. my question. And, yeah, and not one should have to die. What, 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 the answer to your question is that Hamas, if they surrender unconditionally, then Which all not of that... Do. Okay, fine. But is let there them, a limit? Then let, them, let them allow all the civilians... Is there Israel, a limit? Israel said that all the civilians can leave. All the civilians should go south. They begged them. And that's something that militaries never do. Churchill did not tell the people in Dresden, come on, and, and, you, no, see, no, you, put, can't, put, you came with all your notes. We, we get I'm, the point. I'm not, I'm not here. We get the point, Mohammed. I get the point. This is, this is, all, point. This is, this is all proof that he can't debate member, me. Member, so he has to use these images. Rabbi, no, debate me. We, we, we didn't Shmuley, ask you to come on with all your exhibits. Rabbi Shmuley, let me ask you a question. A member of the uh, cabinet in Israel was actually quoted as saying that nuclear weapons exactly. were an option that mm. Israel could use. A, no one's ever confirmed Israel has nuclear weapons. It's long been suspected. That seemed pretty clear confirmation. Why, why are you against nuclear weapons? But hang on. If you're, if you're not against Dresden, why are you against nuclear Let weapons? Let me ask the question. Let me ask the question. No, but why question. are you against it? I've done this before, this job. Let me do it. Go on. OK? So when that guy says that, if you're, if you're living as an innocent civilian in, in Gaza, what the hell are you thinking? That an mm. Israeli government member mm -hmm. threatens the use of a nuclear weapon, right. which but, would obliterate yes. pretty much all of Gaza and everyone in it. Absolutely. Thank you for the question. If that were true, why hasn't Israel used nuclear weapons against Nasser when he no, invaded? No, it's true. Well, hold on, hold on. It's true, this guy it. threatened yeah, and, the an and, the answer is, and the answer is, no, no. I know the guy, and I spoke to him about it. His name is Amichai Eliyahu. Hmm. Israel has against never carpet-bombed any against, against Arab... Against Nasser was preemptive. Hang on, Mohammed. 1967 ever, was preemptive. Ever, ever, ever. Now, now, 1967 now. was preemptive. He was asked a question by a provocative interview, and he said, well, if you're going to bomb the same thing, it was like uh, it was a Mohammed Ijab type. You want to kill all the Arabs, three million people, just drop a bomb. He said, well, if you want to drop a bomb, drop a bomb. He was being dismissive and stupid, mm -hmm. and he put out a statement the next day saying that never in history would the Jews ever even contemplate doing that. Let's remember one thing. Mm -hmm. The only place in the, day before the Middle he East... Did, one second, Pierce. The day before the he did... Only place, from, from the, the only the place in, in the Middle East where Arabs have any freedoms... Mm -hmm. Israel. The only place where they vote openly, okay. Israel. The only place okay. where Palestinian women <laughs> can dress the way they want, Israel. The only, and let's be clear, when, when, when Muhammad Hijab gets up and says that we Palestinians want to be a religion of death, you know, I just got a haircut I coming here by an Arab barber here that. in London, and he said to me, I hope, you, I hope you defeat this guy because he doesn't represent us. We want to live. We want to have good lives. We want to be religious. All we right. want to eat halal. Ask, but we don't right. want to die for martyrdom. You are not a Muslim. You're an Islamist. You're let an Islamist. Let me ask Muhammad, let me ask Muhammad down, a question. Down, 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 down. Let me ask Muhammad a question. Health. Hamas has 240 hostages. Stop. Last week. Stop. Hamas has 240 hostages they took, including babies. Sure. Young kids. Sure. Grandmothers who survived the Holocaust. Yeah. I mean, an unspeakable further criminal Amazing. act. Yeah. We can agree, right? Of course. Why should Israel agree to any ceasefire so long as those hostages are still being kept hostage? Look, um, my position is very clear. They should fight man to man on the they ground. Are. On the ground. Well, they are. That, no, that fighting... That's exactly uh, what listen, they're doing. That fighting, no one can... This is uh -huh. just, That's exactly this, what they're doing. I know. Man to man, they took hostages. Excuse me. They took babies he's, as he's, hostages. He's, he's asked me the question. They took the infants question. as hostages. Let him answer the question. You're, you're getting excited here. I know it's your um, sexuals you know, are you inclined. You're the sex no, rabbi. No, no, leave now, it. now you're back to, to my sex rabbi. Leave it, You're getting overexcited. Leave it, please, Mohammed. He's getting excited with me. Let me ask the questions. You guys answer them. Mohammed, answer my question. Why, if you're Israel, yeah, yeah, would yeah. you ever agree to a ceasefire if those hostages aren't released? I'm, I'm telling you what my position is. My position is man-to-man -man combat... Which is what they're doing now. No. That part of it is understandable. Do you understand That's what, what they're doing. No problem. But what I think is not understandable, what is not acceptable, because you said, what's a proportionate response? That's mm. the question you keep asking everybody. My answer to you is a proportionate response mm. is one where in which the ratios are not 100 to 1. That's on the your invention. Excuse me, please. Where does that come from? I'll what's tell your you what? source? Okay, tell me the source. The tell so me the source. IDF. 
The, the, uh -huh, the I idea, yeah, sure. Tell me when. when did they say it? They said, uh, I know all the ideas. No, no, you don't. I know, I know Jonathan Daniel Hagari. I, Daniel Hagari said what? When? Okay, so no, let me say, explain. No, 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 no. Excuse me. Say, when did he say we're killing yeah, um, Palestinians hundred to one? Ten days ago, and it's mentioned on a website. I'll tell you the website. The truth is, they don't. Uh, I'm telling you, he never said no, 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 this is no, 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 no they say, quote unquote, dozens. Now listen, Hamas or civilians? Wait a you said civilians. No, no, you said civilians. Wait a minute. Well, you said civilians. Wait a minute. I'm telling you, I got the 100 to 1 ratio. Mohammed. 100 to 1 ratio the comes numbers, in. The numbers have it's dramatically been invented. 10,000 civilians. The numbers. To 60. Have... It's actually more than 100 to 1. You know, as soon as you call him out on anything, he has no sources. He has no sources. No one can hear what you're saying. Okay. Let me respond to him. This is a blood libel. Let me respond to him. The Jews have a right to respond to a blood libel. I'm about to question him. It's a blood libel. Here's the reality. I read that report. That was about Good. at least two weeks ago, yeah, right? Ten days ago. The numbers have changed a lot. Yes, they have. Israel now believe they've killed a lot more Hamas. But they don't know exactly how many, because actually, how do you tell on the ground by the way, Pierce, to the one, Hamas one, one, one fighter thing, and you know, a member of the general population? Just, you know, according to the IDF, mm. and we've done a, a study on the name that they put on X, mm. they, have, uh, they had 1,280 names that they put on X, mm. and according to Haaretz, they put... Uh, Haaretz is, a, as he knows, a left-wing newspaper in Israel. They also put the names of those who have been killed. Guess what? Mm. According to them, 340 military have been killed, which means Hamas's ratio of combatant right. to no combatant is three to one. All right. Imagine Hamas is doing a better job in protecting civilians than Israel. Three I, to one. I would say one. I would say that Hamas, by what they did on October the seventh, hundred to one versus three to one. Wait Mass. a minute. Mass. Wait a minute. Mass. Wait a minute. Ordered by by doing what they did, they ordered de facto the disintegration of northern Gaza that we're seeing. Of course. And, and the, all the civilians and the suffering. Deaths, of have you seen, have you seen this? And the deaths of sure, thousands sure. Let of finish, civilians. Let me finish. Let they me. knew what was going to happen. I agree. Pierce, that's Pierce, so that's Pierce, why Pierce, they should go. Pierce, Pierce, in, 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 in 2005, Israel unilaterally withdrew from Gaza and allowed, Ham well, Hamas won an election in 2006. They could have built Singapore. You know what they did? They took larger foreign aid per capita than all of Europe received from the Marshall Plan. And look what France and Britain, look how beautiful London is. They took that money and they bought bullets and bombs. They did not build hospitals, not schools. They stole it from the Palestinian people. Ismail Haniyeh is worth $4 billion. I don't care about Khaled that. Khaled Mashal is him. worth He's $4 not protecting him. billion. I'm not protecting him. Why are you talking about call him? him Call him I don't an evil call criminal. Him anything. You're I afraid don't to. Call him anything. He won't. You see, no, no, he will never I, condemn Hamas because he has condemned. No, it's good. I have. I have. I've heard him, him do it. Excuse me. Excuse me. Wait, wait, no, no, no. He condemned Hamas's much attack. Much He's never times? condemned Hamas. Well, let me ask you. Do you condemn Hamas? On what basis? On Here general. we go. See? No, no, hold on. Play You accept now? Let me ask you a question. Every answer is on what basis? On what this? On what this? What's your source? Even if you ask me, if you do condemn the IDF, I say specify your context. In what exact context do I... Do you defend Hamas as a terrorist organization yes, yes, yes. that just went and killed 1,200 people, burned them alive, yeah. beheaded them, uh, 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 and took 250 uh, hostages? Do you, calm, do, you, calm, calm, do you condemn calm, them or not? Calm, calm, do you condemn calm, them or not? Get your calm, head, calm, get your head calm, into the debate, and do you calm, condemn calm, them or not? Calm, calm. See, this is a, so, this is a debating he's, tactic. He's, he's, it's 2-on-1 now. Let him answer. Let him answer. 2-on-1. It's become two on one. Let him You're not a victim. Stop the I'm victim, but now it's two on victim. one. Stop okay. the victim. <laughs> you, you love portraying yourself as a strong man. Now you're a victim, it's two on one. You probably could take two on one. So answer it. Answer the question. Is Hamas a terror organization that you condemn? Is yes, that no. something uh, you and Is your daughter Hamas said? a terror organization probably could that, take you, two on one. that you. It's a reasonable question because you okay. asked me, so, so, is, sure, is sure, the sure. IDF a terror organization? Okay, beautiful. I'll answer your question directly. Uh, Hamas is as much a terrorist organization, yet uh, no. Hamas shouldn't be called a terror organization See, if, the, uh, excuse me, if, if the IDF isn't. Why? Okay. Because if See, it's either are. both there or not. Okay. Okay. This is, this is either okay. both or neither. Okay, but just, to, just neither. to extrapolate your position, because yeah. you believe yeah. the IDF is, yeah. then you're also saying that Hamas is. Let me tell you my position. Then say it. No, no, I'm say it. Say it. Say it. Speak. Say speak. Hamas I, is, let is me, a Rabbi Shmuley, let me get the answer. The unholy Shmoli won't let me speak. Right, I'm asking my, okay, you a question. My condi At least my, that was my funny, answer that was the first run you did the whole thing. Given given we we maybe we could be friends. Let I me ask you Let me ask you Unholy Shmoli, let me ask you. Given you've already stated you believe the IDF is a terror organization... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Am I to assume... Legally or morally. Legally or morally. Well, hang on. Go on. Am I to assume that you believe Hamas is now? No, this is my position. But you have to give me 10 seconds at least to answer, right? Legally, 
I think you shouldn't call Hamas a terrorist organization if you're not calling IDF a terrorist organization. That's my position. But you do both. Hold on, 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 let me finish. Because if, the, as we said, the UN definition of what a terrorist organization is mm. to kill civilians mm -hmm. in order uh, in order to achieve a political objective. However, on a moral and yes. theological, philosophical yes. level, I agree with Rosalind Higgins, mm -hmm. who was uh, the justice of the International Criminal Court, mm -hmm. right? Uh, uh, the Court of Justice, ICJ, a British justice. By the way, she was a Holocaust survivor as well. She was Jewish. Yeah. And her position is that she believes that the word terrorism or terrorist is actually useless. And she says that it's... A, or I'm putting to her... Oh, I, can you answer my question? Hold on, hold on. He's going on. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. So I'm answering your question. So I'm saying that as a moral construct, I think it's a neo-colonial social construct used by people in order to, to label some people as terrorists and other people as not. Well, well. So okay. as a moral category, okay, yes. okay. I don't designate it as a moral category. You know, okay. you know, as, as, as a legal category... Do you believe... Yeah, as do you personally, Mohammed yeah, Hijab, yeah, do you believe that the IDF and Hamas are both terror organizations. I think yes. If if you yes? if you say if you say yes. yes to IDF, you should say yes to Hamas. So yes. If you say no to IDF. That's what, I'm Hamas asking you what you believe. Hamas is a terrorist organization. Uh, what if, you if, believe? If you say yes to IDF, you okay. can say yes no, to Hamas. No, yes. no, I'm asking you what you believe. Yes, I believe legally, according to the definition. Yeah, if you say yes to Hamas, okay. you can say yes Pierce, to Pierce, IDF. Pierce, 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 yes. Pierce. We could go on for the next. I've got a, We are going to the next. If you say no to the IDF, you can say yes. We're going to. We're going to the next. We're going to the next block. But that's interesting. But morally, I don't believe the category has any weight. No, but you have. Morally, has no designation. But you have made position clear, absolutely. which is that you believe they're both terror organizations. I believe that according to the law, absolutely. Okay, and that's interesting to yes. me. Okay, let's but I have come, to say, no, I have wait, to say, wait, let's come to when the When you next... call the IDF a terror organization, the IDF keeps 1.8 no, million Arabs it's his alive opinion. in Israel. To one ratio. The Hamas, the, this is invention, it's a fabrication. Let me move even, on to the last Get more pictures out, it's unbelievable. Rabbi, this is how you lose your a son debate in the IDF. You bring, I brought your son nothing is in the IDF. He could be this. He could be like this. My son, my son is... He could be dead like that. My son is in the IDF. You're here in the safety of studio talking about how you want to do martyrdom. You're really risking your life here, Mom. You're big talk. Your you son could be lot. dead right now. Like you, attack, you, attack, okay. you attack Ben Shapiro's your, your wife. Your son is an idea. You, 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 actually, could be post, dead right you now. actually posted could be a clip dead right saying now. that with someone else saying that it's you like teaches you how to get, how to get women bag? to listen to their husbands. Your this is all false, false, false bravado, false... False machismo. Your son, if you're Mindy, a real man, go to dead. the Middle East and fight. What are you doing what in a terrorism right. studio? Fight with him. Fight with him. Let me move to the last one. You is... should be there. You, you have the right to fight with no, no, him. No, no, I'm not. You, you use your son as a human shield. Right. You, you try to bully people in debates Enough. and it's being allowed. He's, in this, he's using his son this, as a human shield. Time. I want to move to the last ironically themed subject. Is peace possible? Okay. Not on this basis, right? But we've got to try and get to peace. So you get a minute each again. Uh, Mohammed, you'll go first uh, this time. So you get a minute from now. OK, so I just wanted to say that this man is... Connected. No, no. Is peace pos no, ever got, possible? I've got a minute uninterrupted. Is peace ever possible? Can I is speak for uninterrupted? No, you're going to speak about the subject. I can say what? Well, he's been attacking me. Don't attack, attack him personally. We're not going to use it. It's pointless. Okay. I'm going to take it, just for the record, we'll put it on YouTube so people can see it all in context, right? But on my show, I'm just not going to have half of this, what I thought was going to be a serious debate, taken up with you two personally abusing Von each other. Bismarck it's pointless. Said, excuse me. Von Bismarck said, I repay people with the currency that they pay me with. Right. If he's going to come with ad hominems, as you've acknowledged, I can come back with that. Right, hominems. but you did, and you shouldn't have done, because you had the high moral ground. Ad no, hominems? No, 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 I believe this. Man no, I believe is that bring, man is bringing up you Jewish sex bad as each other. Stop. In you've this both been as bad as each other. Even sure. that. On the personal stuff, sure. you've been as bad as each other. Let's start again. You get a minute from now. Is peace ever possible? Go. Justice is a prerequisite for peace. In South Africa, uh, when the apartheid system, which we know for a fact Israel is an apartheid state because it has laws like the right of return, which only, only, only allow Jewish people to come into the country. And if they convert, by the way, to Christianity or to, uh, to uh, Islam, they are stripped from that right, which is, it meets completely the definition of apartheid as Paul Cornell Law School and according to the UN Convention 1973. It's an apartheid system. And as a prerequisite of an apartheid system, you have to be a racist. If you support that, you're a racist. No doubt about it. So number one, 1973 apartheid law, if the black South Africans have been displaced, if they have been displaced by the whites and then they were trying to come back into their country and they were not allowed and then you ask them, is peace possible? That's not the question we'd be asking them. We'd be asking them, is justice possible? And that's the question that we're going to be asking because he can all uh, sit there and talk about all these things where the IDF his son Mendy is being attacked by vibrated by the, the rockets and he's selling him and his daughter selling vibrators to the public. <laughs> <laughs> Unnecessary thing at the end again. I hope you keep that in. Uh, Rabbi Please Shuri, it in. Okay. one minute on is peace ever possible? Of course. I revere countries like the United Arab Emirates, 
Dubai, Abu Dhabi, where I've spoken several times. I am safer as a Jew wearing a yarmulke in Dubai and Abu Dhabi than I am on the campus of Columbia University or even Harvard these days. Mm. The Mohammed bin, bin Zayed is just an incredible leader. Um, I saw in the Gulf states the Islam that Mohammed Hijab rejects, but the Islamic world embraces. That's why they made peace with Israel. It's a technologically advanced, tolerant, forward-looking, very traditional, very religious Islam. And that's, why, and, that's why, and that's why they've made peace with Israel, and peace will continue to be made. All of these countries are praying for Israel to destroy Hamas, because Mohammed Hijab is an outlier. He's an extremist, and his views, whether his views as he represents them at Speaker's Corner of things about women being subject. Okay, okay, but let me, just, let me just be clear. All of the Arab countries want Hamas destroyed. And, that's, and the proof is, when they had their conference, Riyadh, last week, they did not even okay. once call to bring in any evacuees because they want Israel to establish a more democratic okay. regime in Gaza, which will, they will do. Israel is winning this war. Here's my follow-up to both of you, right? Just give me a very, very quick snapshot of, in 20 years' time, how peace could have been achieved. Very quickly. Okay. The first thing is, when Israel withdrew in 2005, almost 20 years ago, um, if Hamas had not come to power, if they had taken all the international aid that they got, um, tens of billions of dollars, peace would have been achieved by building businesses, entrepreneurship, schools. How do we get schools. there now? Okay, we get there now by destroying Hamas, making sure that there's democratic elections, let the Palestinian people, not Mohammed Hijab, not Shmuel Ibtayak, not Peshmerga, I mean, you both agree them, Hamas them, should be gone, right? They, we can they, agree on this, right? They, they, we agree that they, there should they, be a they bigger need, Palestinian need, authority with armies and airplanes. I'll come to you in a moment, Mama. And, and, and on that, we do have agreement. And the way we have And the way we have They should have tanks. In the history of the world, no two democratic uh, rockets uh, powers have ever gone to war. That's why since the end of the Second World War, there's mm. been no war here in Europe. We need to see a democratic Gaza. Ha Hamas won an election in 2006. There's then a war in Europe all... now, by the way. In Correct, Ukraine. because it's against a tyranny. No, I said no two democracies ever gone to war. Mm. Putin is not a democracy. He's a tyrant. In the history of the world, no two democracies have ever fought a war. If we have a democracy in Gaza... So what does peace democracy... look like in 20 Pe years? Peace looks like the Arabs voting for their rulers, voting and backing them, uh, seeing Israel as a partner, not being humiliated that because of this tiny little right. red dot surrounded by that, that's humiliation. Two state solution? I, well, you know, uh -huh. uh -huh. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. If, if, if two state solution is a Hamas state wanting to eviscerate Israel, uh, he doesn't gone. believe in it. But he doesn't, he doesn't believe in a two state solution. He believes in a final solution. No, that's no, what no. really scares okay, me. Okay. You don't believe in a two state solution. You believe in a final solution. The way you speak about Jews, you believe in a final solution. And it scares you. Do you believe in a two state solution? I love Jews. If that second state is Mexico, Jewish people Canada, are fantastic yeah. people. If that second state is, 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 is Gaza, then of course not, because it'll just become another genocidal enemy wanting to wipe right. Israel off the map. That's pretty unequivocal. He doesn't really want a two-state solution. I don't want he, a two-state solution. That's a, that's, that's a terror state to destroy Israel. I personally of course believe not. this whole question should be left to the Palestinians of what kind of solution they want. However, having said that, this man has written in his book, A War in Israel, that is uh, the settlement. I didn't write a book called The War. It's, uh, it's called the uh, the Israel Warrior. Something oh, thank like that, you. Right? Thanks for plugging. Ah, fantastic. I appreciate fantastic. that. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Uh, in that book, he writes you, that the God issue of you. excuse me, the issue of settlements that me and you both condemn mm. peers. I do. Yeah. 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 We do. He doesn't condemn it because he sees a, an ancient uh, biblical reason to be in that whole land. Oh, I think Israel, I think me. Arabs and Israelis uh -huh. should be able to live wherever they want. Uh -huh. I want Arabs to live in Jerusalem. Uh -huh. I want Arabs to live in Tel Aviv. Uh -huh. I want Jews to live there. I don't believe in the unity.